today I'm going to show you how to use the CUPS rubric to look at your writing and make sure you have capitals, understanding, punctuation, spelling, an introduction, transition words, de details, and a conclusion. First, let's start with capitals. Let me tell you about a time I was in a hurricane. I know I need to change this letter I to capital because the word I is always capitalized. Was in a hurricane. The, I know I need to change this to a capital T because it's the beginning of a sentence. The clouds got really dark. I needs to be changed capital because the word I is always capitalized. I was scared. Then the lights went out, so we lit a candle. Finally, that's the beginning of a sentence, so this needs to be capitalized, this F. Finally, my mom made me feel better, and I went to sleep. The letter I always needs to be capitalized when it's a word all by itself. Went to sleep. That was, this is a new sentence, so the T needs to be capitalized. That was a time I was in a hurricane. So now that I think I did all my capital letters and I fixed it, I can give myself a two. Make sure your name's on it. And next we're gonna look for understanding. Does what I read make sense? When I read it, I knew what I was talking about. I knew I was said I was in a hurricane, I was scared. I lit a candle, I went to sleep after my mom made me feel better, and I was in a hurricane. It makes sense when I read it, so I'm gonna give myself a two. Next, I'm gonna look for punctuation. Make sure I have all my periods at the end of sentences. Let me tell you about a time I was in a hurricane. The clouds got really dark, I was scared. This sounds like two different sentences, so I'm gonna add a period in here. The clouds got really dark, I was scared. Then the lights went out, so we lit a candle. Finally, my mom and I went to sleep. That was the time I was in a hurricane. I have all my punctuation at the end of my sentences, and I fixed the ones I didn't, so now I can give myself a two. Spelling, let's go back and make sure I spelled everything the right way. Let me tell you about a time, time, I think I need a silent E on here. A time I was in a hurricane, the clouds got really dark, I was scared, then the lights went out, so we lit a candle, finally my mom mad me, I think I forgot a silent E here too, made me feel better and I went to sleep, that was the time I was in a hurricane. I fixed all of my spelling. Now that I fixed everything, I can give myself an eight out of eight. Now let's look at the introduction. Let me read my first sentence and make sure it's a good introduction. Let me tell you about a time I was in a hurricane. I told you the character, myself, and what I was doing, the setting, so I did a good introduction. Let's look at transition words for the rest of the writing. The clouds got really dark, I was scared. I can add in the word first here, to tell the reader what I did first. First is a good transition word. First, the clouds got really dark. I was scared. I see another transition word, I put then, and I also put the word finally. So I have three transition words, I can give myself a two. Let's look for details. I said the clouds got dark and I was scared. I said we lit a candle. And I said, my mom made me feel better. That seems like enough details. I can give myself a two. For my conclusion, that was a time I was in a hurricane. I told my reader what I wrote about for my conclusion. I can give myself a two. So when you're editing your writing and grading yourself, make sure you go back and change the things to make it the best writing you can do. Then have your partner do the same thing. Your partner's name goes here, and they can grade you on capitals, understanding, punctuation, spelling, 
introduction, transition words, details, inclusions, and you can edit it even more to make it great writing. Good luck!